Yes, you know what day it is. Happy hump day, pussy power. Oh, don't ever doubt your vagina. Ow, for the night. Okay, it's the fupa going down for me. Okay, fufu. Oh, it's the Oh, look at that. Don't ever doubt your vagina. <laughs> Somebody need to take my phone. Wake. I'm having an awesome day, guys. Let me move on up. Moving on up. All right, boom. Ew. So, um, this is another snippet of, not even snippet, I think this might be a story time fucking around. So, <clears throat> usually, oh, yes, like, comment, subscribe, share. Share, 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 share. Don't ever touch your vagina, share. Yes, boom. So, <clears throat> usually when I get on here, I usually, oh, <clears throat> I got the cold wing because these edges is looking rough. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so, usually I do a, um, ah, ankles are itching. Usually I do like a um <clears throat> like the email and I read the emails and stuff like this bra is tight. This is not okay, breast. Don't ever tight. Okay, I'm I'm having too much fun. I had an awesome day today and I just ate. I feel a lot better because ooh, it was rough. I had a rough, it was it started off rough, but it's going beautiful. Thank God. So boom. <clears throat> Usually when I do the Don't Doubt Your Vagina series. I uh, read the emails, and I got a lot of emails that I got to get through. I'm going to get through them. I'm going to do them. I'm going to read them. Please, because two people email like, you're not going to read my story. Yes, I'm going to read your story. You got my word. I'm going to read your story. You got it. You got it. You got it. So now I have a new email, and it's at forehead and I at gmail. At forehead and I. It's forehead and I at gmail.com. So you can send them to those because y'all been sending them to my, my other email. So I have like a personalized email just for forehead and I stuff all together. Boom. So, here we go. This is what this one's going to be about. Them bikes outside. Cheese and rice. So, um, <clears throat> this is going to be about this. I was sitting here thinking, right? And I was going to read one of the emails. I actually have it pulled up. But I decided not to do that today. I decided to do a little razzle dazzle and make it... Now my shark tooth got stuck stuck in there. <laughs> All right, stuck. Um, so, instead of me actually reading the emails, <clears throat> what I decided to do is, like, really dig deep. And I was sitting here thinking, 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 thinking. Because I was on the phone... Well, you know my job. I was uh, talking to a client, and this is what sparked me not to, you know, read the email. Was I was thinking, like, why do we doubt our vaginas in the first place? Or why do we allow other people to make us feel like our vaginas are not worthy? And I, and I, and I got it. I, I, I just, it just, ding, it just came. Check it out. When you with a person, right? You with a person. And the di because you know they always have their representative there, right? The moment... The moment, the moment that they don't understand what it is to treat you like a lady, the moment that they stop doing certain things, there's two things that need to happen. One, you need to communicate that. And two, head out. You know what I noticed is that when, especially with women, with us, right? And if you can relate, just, just chime in, chime the fuck in. These titties look good. My titties look good. I ain't gonna hold you, but sorry, I got distracted. Anyway, I think it's the bra, but that's besides the point. Um, <clears throat> I really feel like, I'll use myself as an example. It's like, when I notice that I'm not being treated like a lady, or I'm not being treated the way I know that I deserve, like, you trying to play me, like, oh, this person is bad. I, 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 I shared the story about what... <laughs> We not even gonna go down that 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 nasty yellow brick road. I, I shared my stories with y'all about the tumultuous things that I've been through with people. Some of the things that like they would verb like be verbally abusive. You know what I'm saying? So check it out. So instead of like. When you when you feel like somebody doubting your doubting your vagina, doubting your doubting you as a lady, as a woman, or any of that, either communicate it. And once you communicate it, if you do not see change, head out or just head out. And I notice we do this. We also ask the question, why? Fuck out of here. We're not asking why anymore. Stop asking why. Stop. At, and I was a why girl. Well, why? I don't understand. But well, why? Well, why? And then you start to get into a competitive mode. Fuck out of here. We're not doing any of that. Stop asking why. When you, you y'all know the old saying. When somebody show you who they are, believe them. Believe, believe, believe. No, you're not asking why. And you know what? And you know what it is for me. I'm not even gonna say don't ask why. This, this is how I really feel. I'm about to, I'm about to get surgical. I'm about to get brutal on this. I feel like this. <clears throat> this is this is going to get intense, okay? So I'm going to use a lot of vulgar language because we're talking about vaginas. We grown, you know. I feel like any relationship, any relationship, any ship you win has to be reciprocal. 
You have to reciprocate my energy. I need it to be reciprocal. I'm not saying you do the same things as me and it doesn't look like, but I got I got to feel that. I got to know that the, that the, that is reciprocal. I got to know that. Because it's like, why would you be considerate of somebody else if they're not considerate with you? Lady, stop sucking dick. Woo, we about to get surgical. Stop it. Let me tell you something. Relationships have to be said. How you going down? How you got the people got the nerve? You down with other, other women's vaginas. You down with vaginas making women feel crazy. But you sitting here get the slob on my knob. Like corn on the cob. And be like, all right, so what happened to my little kitty bitty 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 and you're not trying to get a little kitty bitty 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 somebody need to take my phone somebody take my phone because this is cr we deal with so much like you be sitting there giving this person all everything and they sitting there doubting you doubt having you know it's not even doubting you is that they their actions and their behavior is making you doubt yourself that's a hell of a dynamic a person can affect you that bad that they got you doubting you absolutely not absolutely not Absolutely not. We're not doing none of that. We're not doing none of that. None of it. And I'm speaking from lived experience. Yo, I'm gonna get. I can't even give that example. That's, that's crazy. I would just say this, ladies. And this is all for my ladies. Do not reciprocate that energy. If you're not trying to, if you're not trying to say hello to hello, Kitty, we're not trying to say hello to talk. Oh my God, like on on the cop. We're not doing none of that. Let's stop. Let the buck. It's stop. We're done. You're done. You're done. That's why you doubt your vagina because you're doing all of this for a person that's giving you this. The crumbs. The crumbs. The crumbs. Reciprocate that energy. Reciprocate that energy. Don't have nobody doubting your vagina. Oh, it's not this. Okay, so let me take it away. I'll, I'll be taking my vagina away for 300 Alex. We're not doing that anymore. And it's like, I really wanted to read this email because the email is good. I'm going to save it for next week. I promise you. You know who you are. I've, you've already communicated. I promise you I'm going to share your story. Your email. You know, it's just that I'm sitting here thinking I'm talking to my client and she in tears. I mean, like, real tears. And I'm like, well, what's, what's going on? Miss Eva? I just talked to you. You was fine. What, what, what's going on? What happened? I need to know what's going on so I can support you. We can figure this out. I mean, boogers and snots. So I know it was like a good, uh, like it was, a, uh, it was one of those where the shoulders are hunched up. You don't know what you're doing. It's not even raining. Ew. Like, I don't even know what's going on. So I'm like, okay. And the fact that this, like, She's giving, she's just giving and giving and giving and giving and giving. When you're such a giving person, you're going to run into takers. You got to be weird. You got your head got to be on the swivel. Or put your blinders on so you don't see them. Absolutely not. I could not believe it. Like, ladies, and I'm just speaking from real life. And this just, this don't go for just heterosexual relationships. This goes for schmezbrands, lesbians, homosexuals, guys, queers, everybody. Everybody, it goes for everybody. Don't don't give that energy back. Uh -uh, stop doubting yourself. And you know what's so crazy that you was good before, before El Negro Pedro came along, and now look at you doubting you. I can't believe he did. I can't believe she did. If it's not reciprocal, we got to say the name, no, my brother, sister. Mm -mm. Let us stop doubting our vaginas. Let us stop that. These stories are great because I like to share these stories so you know, even if you can resonate, you're not the type like, girl, I ain't going to email her, whatever. That's cool. I get it. I totally understand. I'm not going to tell her my business. I get that. But at least on this platform, you understand these are real emails that are coming in from people from all over. Like, girl, I went through this. Girl, so you understand that you're not alone. So you understand that you are not alone. It's, you are not alone in this process at all. That goes for anybody. If the relationship is not reciprocal, if they're not treating you like, how you going, you going to not treat me like a lady, but I got to treat you like, I got to treat you like a gentleman? Or I got to treat, you not treat me like a lady, but I got to treat you like a lady? No. No. And since we talking about sex, listen, if he ain't eating no pussy, you ain't sucking no dick. And I'm sorry to just say it like that, but it is what it is. This is my platform. And don't ever doubt your vagina. We're not doing that. If she's not, if she's not munching that carpet, you better not munch hers. This ain't munch central. Yo, I got, yo, let me, I got a story set. I, I got a story time. I got a story time real quick. Boom. And this is how whack people are, right? And at that time, I had a whack mentality too. I'm not going to hold you. You know, I got to be honest on my platform. This is the truth. Boom. I'm fucking with shorty or whatever. <clears throat> I mean, we, we good. Everything is rocking and rolling. We good. So like, for me, they say I'm going to, I'm an aggressive femme. I'm Alexis. I, I mean, I don't know. If it's good, we, we, we up in this stuff. Huh? You know what I'm saying? So it was whatever. Boom. So now like, I'm aggressive one because I'm, I'm tur she turns me on. I mean, she turned this girl. Oh, Lord. I'll be looking like, oh, God. 
damn, you look good, girl. I mean, she was like, I was playing the Visual Olympics with this one. God damn, she was like, Arabian Nights. Like, she looked good as hell. Boom. So, now we stopped messing with each other, whatever the case may be. And this is the whack thing that she did. She went, and the next girl she messed with, she was talking about me to the girl. But mind you, we was, even though we wasn't together, we was still jamming this time. You know what? It, it was up and stuck. You know how that go. You know how I go. You know how I go. So I'm like, all right, cool. The girl calls. Somehow the girl gets my number, finds my pictures on her phone, whatever. It was, it, was a, it was a shit show. So she finds my thing and she's like, yeah, she was saying that, oh, you be, you be, um, you be all on her. You be eating her. Uh, uh, uh. You be doing that. Grown ass woman, dog. Hey, I ain't doubting shit. Yeah, I'm on you. What type of shit? You <laughs> what? Of course. Wait, wait, uh, what? Girl, oh, Lord. Like, that's not an insult. You be all on her. As I should. And I will. I will. I'm aggressive. I Yes. Yes. I get what I want. I, you, <laughs> Ask my friends. Ooh, when? They know. Yes, I'm going to get it. I'm just going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it good. You understand? Like, whack shit like that. And my mentality was so whack at the time. I'm just like, why would she tell her that? She's trying to make it seem like I'm th like doubt in my like just had me doubt my whole self. Don't let these people get you jammed up. Don't doubt yourself. Don't doubt your vagina, ladies. Don't doubt these shits is jumping. <laughs> Don't doubt your vagina. Don't doubt it. It is a beautiful thing. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. And if it ain't beautiful, I got some. I, I, this we can get it beautiful. We can get, if you need to get it wet, we got a place. You need to get it steamed, we got a place. Sometimes you need to take time for yourself. There's so many of us that haven't even seen our vaginas. You don't even know what that shit look like. You, you doubting something you ain't never seen? Come on, man. So I just say that to say this. I know this turned into a little bit of story time rant, whatever the case may be, but I just want to implore you, stop doubting your vagina. Don't let these guys or these, or these girls or these women get you jammed up. Don't doubt your shit. It ain't you, it's them. And I don't care what they say. And you shouldn't care either. Only reciprocal relationships. If he ain't going down on you, what you going down? You know what's so crazy? I'm about to get surgery. This is, this, I'm, 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 just gotta, just gotta, I don't know, it's gonna get crazy. Some women like sucking dick. That ass, like, that's the thing. They're, they're more, see, it's, 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 there's two type of sexual people. There's people that you can look at them and be like, damn, that's gonna be a good fuck. She a rider. She could get this. She could, she could take dick. You know, because this don't doubt your vagina, so we using all these words. Turn your radio down. Turn your radio down. Some people are riders. They like dick. They like, yeah, they like hit from the back, front, whatever. They love, to, they love sex. They love, like, the penetration part. And there are others who like to slob on your knob or like to whatever it is. They like to do that. So let's be honest. I don't have nobody doubting your shit. There are certain people like certain things. It's not, it's not for everybody. So don't allow these people to do that. And that's the crazy thing is that because you like doing something, you'll do it. And you don't get anything in return. I know people. <laughs> Listen, you won't get anything in return. Stop. Sometimes you have to. Most times. Self-control. Self-discipline. Self-discipline. I know you like sucking dick. I know. I know you like eating pussy. You're an oral person. That's what you do. That's what you like. That's what you love. But they not doing it for you. Absolutely not. And it's not tit for tat. It's just like, come on. If I'm putting passion and care and concern into doing whatever it is I'm doing, you expect the same in return. What's up with you? Ladies, stop down your vagina. Especially, especially from a person that does not know how to reciprocate a goddamn thing. Okay? What an I? You.